Hi, welcome back to the Forge. Um, I've got a friend that, uh, yeah, I know that's amazing in and of itself, but I do actually have a couple friends. Uh, it's a joke. Uh, anyway, um, I have a friend that uh, he's coming close to retirement, and he thought that he would get into blacksmithing, and he thought that would be a great idea, and he bought up a bunch of things, uh, an anvil, a swedge block, different things. When I'm, when I'm talking on camera, I tend to look at the stuff I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm looking down over here for a reason. Um, I might even pan over there and let you see it shortly. But yeah, anyway, the anvil and the, um, the swedge block are sitting over there. But he bought some uh, tongue blanks. He bought some off of eBay. Um, so he, he got some from eBay and uh, he wasn't as happy with the ones that he got there. But he also bought some from Ken's Custom Iron Works. And what I'm holding here Okay, well, let me get back to it. After he buys all this stuff, he decides he doesn't want a smith. He's a little too old for that, uh, to start swinging a hammer, which he's done hard labor all of his life, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, he offers to sell the stuff to the forge. And uh, this guy, honestly, early on, did so much work in this forge, he could own it. He could have his own forge by now. He made my first forge for me with no experience uh, or anything. He made it out of a, a harrowing disc and some pipe and um, tubing and so it worked for me I made some money with that forge but anyway he's done so much work for the forge that he could own my forge um, so he sells me the anvil the the tongue blanks the the different tools hammers all kinds of stuff that he bought um, for a pretty reduced price to be honest with you now as I mentioned among that was some some of Ken's custom iron works uh, quick tongs I am not sponsored in any way shape or form um, uh, so anyway, I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be working on the scrolling tongs and, uh, putting those together and because I need a set of scrolling tongs, but I'm really looking forward to getting these done and seeing how they're going to improve some of my scrolls and things here in the forge. So anyway, we've got the fire lit. I've got a couple of blades that I got to straighten out to get ready for heat treat. And I got one I'm going to try to temper again that I failed on the heat treat a couple times. We'll see if I can do it, do it. And anyway, you'll see that later um, in pictures anyway. So anyway, we're going to get on with the video and uh, start swinging a hammer. All right, had a little bit of a delay. I apologize for it, but I'm not too sorry. It was my daughter who is uh, stationed in Germany with her husband. She called, so we stopped and talked to her. Sorry, my anvil still rings. I'm actually working on a new anvil stand for the new anvil. Once that one's done, I'm probably going to replace this one. We'll discuss that more later. All right. Let's bring that out a little further, maybe. You see already how much that's drawn out? Nice. Good way to miss a blow and mess it up. And a new tactic. While this anvil rings so loud, I think I'll just be quiet so you can turn the volume down and not have to hear it. To taper this out a little bit uh, to bring it down to a finer point. I think I want a finer point to to get finer little twists in there. Okay, so now I think I'm going to round that up. We'll set this one aside and do the other one. And I'm not going to make you sit through that one.
Uh, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but the second one I did is probably a little more than a quarter inch longer than the first. So I reckon I'm gonna have to cut that off and uh, fix it. I know what I did though. I waited until I got out to my line that I made over here before I started rounding and that rounding lengthened it a little more. So I'll have to fix that, but we'll get it. Actually, I don't wanna do that yet. I don't think these need to be drawn out forever. But I'm gonna taper them some. I'm just gonna make this a nice gentle taper. I don't think I want a whole lot more length on these particular tongs. See if it's a, I'll see if the two match up after I uh, work on them, and then we'll go to rounding up. Okay, I think for uh, way up here is what I'm trying to say. I'm just gonna turn it octagonal and not really worry about rounding too much. Um, probably should because if you can see my hand back here, I doubt you can. I always tend to choke up on my tongs. And I don't know why, but I do. But I'm expecting to hold on to back here. So this will still knock off the edges so that it doesn't bite if I need it, if, if I'm actually choking up, like I said. And you get to watch it again because I didn't turn off the camera. Okay, so there are the two halves. Um, it's gonna let them cool now. Uh, there are some things that are not covered in any video that I watched about getting these tongue, the, the jaws lined up or anything. I'm just gonna, I'll get it. We'll figure it out. Uh, but now I'm just gonna let them cool. Hopefully those handles are gonna be, uh, those reins are gonna be comfortable. We'll see, I might have to grind them a little bit if they're not, but I'm gonna let them cool and I'm gonna uh, drill a hole in them and get ready to set the rivet. I don't have a fancy um, um, rivet header, but we're just gonna drive the rivets down and then we'll finish the tongs up after that. I wanna just kinda get it set here and then I believe I'm gonna heat it up and finish it up. Okay, kind of bent it. All right, I'm going to heat that and I bent it. We'll see if I can fix it. All right, burning in the fire there is a quick safety note. That's the uh, paper towel that I just used to put the linseed oil on the uh, tongs. That stuff is uh, spontaneously combustible, so you like to go ahead and get rid of the rags. So yeah, that's uh, that's these tongs. I've got more. Um, if you would like to see me do them on camera, let me know. Um, I would I'd, I would gladly do them. I'm looking for little projects. I'm looking for more forge time and more video time since I'm not in school and soon will be unemployed. I, I'd really need to do a vlog. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the last thing we need to hear is Eric doing more talking. 
but I really need to, need to update my audience on what's where where I've been and where I'm going. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm I'm pleased with these. You will see them soon, possibly the next video or two. Um, see them in action, and I'll I'll get a feel for them at the same time. I don't know if these jaws all come together more or what. I I don't know. We'll find out, and we'll find out together. All right. So before I started these uh, these scrolling tongues, I um, I searched YouTube University. And uh, I couldn't find anything on how to do the scrolling tongs. Uh, I suppose I didn't look well enough or whatever. I don't know. Um, but like the week that I did these, right after I finished up what you see here, uh, Black Bear Forge put out a video on these exact scrolling tongs. Um, and I looked at his video and I see that I messed up. <laughs> yeah, I did. I messed up. So um, anyway... Uh, I'm going to see if I can repair them. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do it off camera because I, I hate the sound of an angle grinder uh, on the camera. But I'm going to cut these off uh, a little shorter and we'll go from there. Uh, after I do that, I'm going to heat them back up and bring the jaws together. And hopefully that's going to repair them enough uh, and make them functional for me. But right now, they're, I, I might even make another set now that I see how the, these mechanics and everything go here. But we're going to salvage these and uh put them to work sorry i'll be silencing my phone also um anyway uh follow continue to follow along and we're going to make these better Ooh, i'm back in cold um i'm still on there okay yeah i'm uh for my vacation i was able to get some coal from my forge makes me very happy. I love forging with coal. And you see I've cut them off shorter. Um, and I'm going to brush them. Once I find my brush, that should have been around here somewhere. Okay, anyway, I'll get back with you on the brush. But, uh, so I cut them off shorter and, um, now I need to make sure that the reins still work properly, uh, that they still open and close properly, I mean. Um, Recoat them with some beeswax, and they'll be done again. Uh, but let me find that brush. Hmm, still a little warm there. Still a little warm, so I keep adding. Makes perfect sense, right? That's the way the x Forge goes. That's the way we roll here. Don't take time to do things right. I wonder why it blows up in our face. Sometimes literally. All right. Those are still hot. We're going to let that cool a little bit more. Okay, so there they are. Um, they're not perfect. I messed them up from, from the get-go. You don't have to draw these out. The... the uh, the bits out really all you have to do is round them up uh and that's where i messed up but i was able to salvage them i believe um i do wish that i had uh done a little differently on these on the reins if you go to black bear forge's video i'll try to link it in the description you'll see <laughs> you'll see how to do these properly uh but i'm learning and uh so i have more of these tongs um not these but i have more tongs here to finish if you would like to see that uh comment below and i'll i'll make that happen um so I, I mean but i my my focus here so far has been blades and it's not so easy for me to finish blades evidently but anyway we'll, we'll get into all that things will things are changing um but yeah that's them um if you're looking for uh pre-cut blanks and and so forth for tongs and other things go on over to ken's iron, custom iron works and check them out uh again i'm not sponsored by them as a matter of fact if you tell them Eric from Ixie and Forge sent me. They'll say, who? So, uh, but anyway, yeah, just uh, if you're looking for good tongue blanks and everything, go directly to Ken's. There are some fakes out there. Uh, go to Ken's. And uh, he puts out a good product. So anyway, you're going to see these in future videos. Um, very soon, hopefully. So if you've uh, found any any value in this video please please like it if you're if you're so inclined if you're not follow if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing and turn on the uh the bell icon so you get notifications 
um, we're, as of yesterday anyway, we're at 154 subscribers. Thank, I thank every single one of you. Um, right now, my short-term goal is to reach 500 sub subscribers, and sort of the, the next goal after that is to get monetized at 1,000 subs. So please share the video um, with your friends. Invite them to, to, to come and join us. And um, very seriously hoping there are going to be more videos out in the very near future. So we'll catch you next time.